Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to LEGO Brick Tales. In the last episode, we may have completed the main story of the game, but there is still so much more to do. As you can see, each world has separate chests, shop items, and animals to find. So we'll be running through at least the jungle today's episode to find everything we can. I don't know because of that if there will really be too much building going on in these upcoming episodes, or how much we'll be able to get done in each episode. Maybe we'll be able to just find everything today. I'm not really quite sure, but that'll be my goal for right now is to go to the jungle and get the remainder 40% completion so that we can move to the next area. So let's get started. And before we couldn't complete everything here because we didn't have all the abilities, but now we do. And I think for a lot of it, it's just going to be running around and trying to find everything. It might be a bit time consuming. I'm hoping I can go back to where we like started initially and then work our way back from there because there's a lot to do. So I'm just sort of trying to figure out right now the, the lay of the land, if not anything else. I do see a gecko down there. We do have to find quite a lot of those. So, or chameleon, not gecko. You know what I mean? Uh, so if we could find a way around there, that'd be fantastic. But we have all five of our abilities now. So it really is just about running around and eventually figuring it out. Can we talk to these people even more? Yeah, I, I guess they don't really have any other information, but we can do things like wash this away now. So don't wait, if I chose the right one, we can just wash this away. So a lot of stuff like this I need to figure out and maybe along the way we'll find some things that we can actually uh, build and stuff. I'm not quite sure, but for right now, I'm going to collect you. That is the chameleon. Only six more to go for that one. And that's really gonna be the bulk of today's episode is running around, finding things <laughs> and, and collecting them. I don't think there's gonna be too much more. What does this go to again? Somewhere up there, I think, yeah. Which is all great and fine, but I do need to find some other stuff first. Like I said, I'm trying to get back to where everything starts, but I, I do see a way to get to a hermit crab if we use the uh, hoverboard. So I might as well try that too. If we get over this way, I can I can ride the hoverboard over there. Forgot about that, yeah. Let's do this because it's a little bit faster. And then I gotta wait for it to, it always breaks like that. So I just gotta wait around. There we go. And get ourselves our hermit crab. We are now down to seven more to go. So probably quite a few of those to find at the beginning. And then I'm stuck again. It's so weird how that happens. I just have to yeah, do that. Ah, we can go. I think I've been back here before. So we might not find too much for now, but I say that, but then there's a treasure chest waiting for us. You know what, boom, we're gonna do that. And we'll try to earn up as many of these wonderful uh, bananas as we can so that we can actually spend those at the shop later. I wanna get all the different shop things. So, well actually, I should have enough right now in my wardrobe. Since we're at the jungle, why don't we check out the other jungle costume we unlocked? Because before we did the Explorer, right? Um, I can't quite remember. I think it was the Explorer pants. So, wear those. The Explorer shirt. And then, this helmet. I think this is what we had equipped before. There should be a different outfit. I don't know if we were able to buy it all though. Maybe it was the aviator helmet, now that I'm looking at it. Oh yeah, it was the aviator jacket and stuff. That's so cool. So yeah, let's keep with that and we'll get back to exploring some more because I'm sure there's plenty more left to find. Okay, so over here, I do quite remember, this is where we can, yeah, this is where we started. This is sort of where the tutorial area was. Now I remember how it worked. I don't know if I can get over there from here though. I can at least water this so we can teleport over from some other spot, but I'm not quite sure how to get to it, because I, I did see some of it. I passed over. How would I get down? Hmm. Yeah, it's a little confusing. There's some stuff down that way. And then some more stuff here. So there's there's gotta be a teleporter somewhere that I can actually access. Unfortunately, none of these places seem to have it. I could also look around with this thing, but I'm not seeing too much more. So maybe we'll move to the next area and I'll find another way to approach it. That's sort of my best guess. Because, yeah, I don't really see anything else. More I could go around here on this side. So unless there's something behind the tree. So I just can't reach that for right now, unfortunately. And there's nothing over here. So, yeah, let's see if there's maybe more on this side. I hope we don't get too stuck, you know, trying to find anything. Because that's sort of the big fear, right? Is that there isn't really any kind of detector or anything that'll tell me where all the collectibles are, so if I miss something, it's sort of just up to me to go back and hopefully find it. I don't think there'll be anything in these little rooms. Usually there isn't any kind of extra hidden collectible, but I'll take a quick look. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of places I can maybe hoverboard to, but none of them I can reach from there. I, I see it over that way, so how am I getting over there? I guess just right across like this. I gotta walk across, can't hoverboard across that part. And then we do this. 
Okay, so this is gonna loop me all the way up and around. Very cool. And now there's definitely gonna be some things to reach here that I wouldn't normally have been able to get to after that sun. There we go. So the water first. Oh, there's a little bunny here. So let's definitely see that rabbit. That is gonna be eight more to go. Oh, and there's even an entire cave over this way. Would I have entered this before? Now I'm really curious. This might be like totally new content. No, okay, we, we've definitely seen this part. So there's this whole cave system here. And obviously some spots I, I, I should be able to get to that I haven't before. And this is where I need to really make sure I thoroughly explore because it would be such a pain to miss something here and then have to backtrack the entire level to find something so specific. But I do think, yeah, right over here, we do have a little thing to materialize. Interacting with this, this will open up a door over that way. How do I get over there though? For right now, it doesn't seem so obvious. I can't get this way, this, so that, that limits how many places I can really try. Because I just came from the ladder up there. So let's go down this side, and I have a teleporter. Where will the teleporter bring me? Nowhere yet. If it's not lit up, that means that the, the other side of it hasn't been revealed yet. So I probably don't want to do that. It's probably this here, isn't it? Okay, so. Definitely just get rid of the water as much as I can. Yep, and there you go, that's working fully functional. But before I do, the door that I opened was right on this side, right? Yes, it was. So where will this lead? Just onto the other side where we can get another treasure chest. More bananas, very nice. Heading back over. I want to, whoa, it go this way. And I think it's gonna open up that, that door to our right. Maybe just another chest with more things, we'll see. Uh, I need to grab this, zap our way over, activate this thing, I do see, oh, it's actually gonna be that treasure chest. Okay, I see. And we go back over, down this way, and open up that chest. So we're building up a nice collection of bananas. We're up to 55 of them now, right? Yep, 55. So we will try to ride our jet board somewhere else then, because there is still more of a spot we can get to, I think, or maybe not. Okay, so the other places that we might access, I don't know, the controls are being very weird right now, so. Yeah, I can't go over there anymore. I think might not be accessible from this part of the cave. I might have to go outside the cave and enter from somewhere else for the rest of it. So we can get up here, no problem but then the rest of it's sort of odd. Cause I, I went down here, yeah, and I explored all that. I couldn't go anywhere else. So yeah, let's try from a different angle. I'm sure there's more we can do. So going up here, we do have another teleporter. So let's try this one. Where am I off to? Right here where I can use the whip to get up. I can smash through a lot of this stuff. I'm a little lost beyond that on what this is gonna lead to. I mean, chances are, yeah, another treasure chest. It's either a treasure chest or a little animal to find, which looks like it's gonna be both this time. We will have a treasure chest and a ladybug. One more, break this one, there it is. So with that ladybug saved, that is down to seven. So we're sort of pretty tied with everything at the moment, and 65 bananas in total now. I don't remember where the shop is, but I'm sure we'll stumble across it as we're exploring everything else, so I just gotta keep looking. Yeah, we were over here. And what else do we have up this way? Oh, here's the shop. So maybe spend a couple bananas while I'm here. Sure, why not? Because I, I, I bought all the clothing options. So we just have things like that's 100 bananas. So maybe I should save for that one first. Because we should get a good bundle of bananas, I'm pretty sure, from, what is it? Delivering all of the chameleons. Oh, and there was a bunch of stuff up here. So before we worry about this, I think there's another way to enter the cave from the bottom that we missed because we did the uh, hoverboard. So I might go try to figure that out now because there are still more things in that cave we need to find. Okay, now that we've normally entered this, I see that it's not any different than what we were already here for. So how do I get up there? I'm not really sure. There's gotta be a way, but I can't really see from here. The, the, there's gotta be another entrance or something. So I guess I'll just leave it. So I really couldn't find much of a way over. There might be some other entrance points though. I mean, I think we can interact with this to go back. I don't think we wanna do that now though. See, I'll just keep exploring around here because there's probably some stuff I haven't touched. Um, first things first. Oh, I see one of these. We definitely wanna materialize it. 
and I'll ride that over in just a moment. Let's check to see what's on this side, if anything. Nothing I haven't already found and interacted with, I guess. So, yeah, we'll get our hoverboard out. And we'll get to, to drive and to glide and to grind and whatever you want to call it. And there's some stuff to slam through, but I hope it's more than that, because clearly there's more around here. I'm having a hard time really discovering it all. And this is the area I feel like I, I, I'm the least familiar with. It's the one I explored the least, because you know we were just getting through the story and we didn't have the abilities to explore most of it. So it's now the most difficult one, because I, I can't really remember exactly where everything is. I think the later ones are gonna be much easier to get through. But for right now, we're just gonna fly back up here. I gotta find a way to lower that door. It's gotta be around here somewhere. We be on this side. Nothing I can access from down there, but there, there's still more stuff, so it's gotta be something. I'll interact with this and see where it brings me. Interact. Maybe it's just on the other side of this. Oh, it is, okay. There we go. That actually answers a couple of things, so we're fine, we're fine. I do also wanna turn this on just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Usually it's pretty obvious. Is there anything over here? Oh yeah, there's a treasure chest I've already found. I'm not seeing anything on this side. But I think there was something down here, right? I guess not. Ooh, so now we're up here. This feels so odd, I've definitely missed things, but I don't know how to get to them, so we're just gonna keep looking through and just try to pick up on some of the more obvious elements. But now that's, that's it for this area. <laughs> I'm certainly missing, so I just don't know how to get to them. And now we're back here, which is where I've been before. Okay, that's so odd. I don't know if I went into this part of the cave so far. Let's find out. Oh, maybe I haven't. I don't know if there'll be much in here for us that we can actually access, but let's try this then. Um, Here's something I can wash away, right over here. This has gotta be something good, right? Teleporter, a ladybug, okay. I'll take the ladybug. And right to that. Oh good, six more to go. Let's see what else we could find in this big, vast cave. First off, anything behind here? There is a teleporter, so I guess I'll try this out. Yep. Whatever this will go is sort of a mystery. To a rabbit, okay. Very nice, so we're finding all sorts of critters in this cave, and that's good. Back over here. I'm not seeing much on this side. The camera is not very helpful for this part, but <laughs> it's okay. Guess we just gotta go up and around. And if this is where we saved the reporter or something, we, we saved somebody here, as you can see. And there's a bird waiting for me, and there's an exit to the top. Oh, I see. Wait, have we done this part? I guess we haven't. So what is all this? This has gotta be something interesting. It pops me out here, okay but I was already over here. Okay, well now I know what this door leads to. Okay, well that's something at the least. Now we can go back. Oh, I see how it all loops together now. Um, that's cool. It's just a shortcut if not anything else. Uh, we will head back down here. There is a bird up there that I need to find a way over to, but I guess it's not this. Hmm. Isn't this where I came from? I can't, I, I cannot remember for whatever reason. Yeah, it was, so, huh. It definitely, uh, there, there's gotta be a way to the bird, but I'm just not quite sure how. Okay, so, let's see what's going on around here. First off, we can lower this door, so we haven't touched anything around here, just on the other side of this. Oh, and this is where the chameleon is. So yeah, we actually are still sort of attached to the other cave. That's good to know. Is there, yeah, there is something on this side too, so don't neglect checking this out. Ooh, okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's get this. And we're just spiraling up real quick. That is so cool. And then here's the bird. I think this might be a different bird. Five more to go. Okay, so I wanna head back down, if possible. Uh, <laughs> if it lets me, there it goes. And then we want to go through this doorway. Yep, there we go. And that leads me back here. So what exactly are we missing now? We are missing three chests, three animals. They're around here somewhere. Oh, see, I was, I was not looking for this one. You can see this right here. So let's go ahead and materialize this, and this will be another hoverboard one. Yeah, I, I missed that before, I can't believe it. So let's get this, because I saw the rabbit before. So there is our, our bird. 
So that means we only have two more animals left to find. Hopefully I can get those soon, but the three treasure chests are what is really eluding me. So you'd think they'd be pretty easy to find, or at least easy to notice, but I'm not quite sure. And I think it's most of the stuff at the beginning that I just couldn't find a way around to. So there's gotta be a way over that I just haven't quite found yet. Oh, right over here, okay, by the cave we were just in. There's another treasure chest right on this side. Okay, I don't know how I missed that, but glad to have it now. I'm still really trying my best to figure out how to get to that one side. I, I just, I have no clue. If we go down here, it's just, I don't know how to get over to that. So there's gotta be a way that I'm missing. I keep on, you know, x-raying everything, but it's, it's not really getting me anywhere. How do I get down there? Oh, there's one right here. I swear I just did that. What? Okay. Um. Well, we can materialize it now. Jeez, those could be so easy to mess. That should be it. That should be the big answer. That'll bring us down here, and there's two ways to go from that. So let's try this one first. Which brings me up here, where I can find another chameleon, four more to go, and more than that, I think only one more animal left to find. Guess we'll see. Uh, let's go across this way. Same deal. Bring us over here and find a rabbit. Very nice, six more to go. So if we take a look, we found all 20 of the animals, but there are still two more chests left to find somewhere in this crazy Lego world. So I have to look all over for those still. And I should have done this sooner, but one thing you can do is you could pause the game and you could just look around and you could really just try to find them that way and you probably could. So I'll, I'll do this now and hopefully I can discover whatever chests might be missing, but there's a lot of places to check. Okay, so my recording stopped, I'm sorry, but um, it was right over here. So we're in this area um, and it was just over here. I had to use this. I swear that the eye didn't pop up, but we got that one chest that gave us the rest of the bananas we need there. Um, so now it says that we are 88% with only four shot pieces and a chest missing. Now one chest I'm pretty sure is the reward we get for giving the one guy all the chameleons. So it looks like until we get all the respective animals, we'll be missing some chests, one chest in each area. So obviously the only thing I can do now is return to grandpa and then we will go back uh, once we have all the chameleons. So that'll be pretty cool. In the meantime, let's go out to the next area, the desert, where we'll have plenty more to do. We'll have to uh, find a bunch more chests, shop, animals, all that kind of stuff, and hopefully it all turns out well. I'm not too worried about the shop for right now because I know the chests that we'll get from completing our quest will give us a ton of stuff too. So I'm just trying to figure out where are we starting from? Where are we going? I, I, I sort of remember a lot of this, but also not really. So just trying to get a good start. I think we will Start with this thing, because why not? It's here. But the farther we go, I put the more, oh no. I'll remember all this, so that's good. I think I'll remember the city and stuff more than I remember the desert and the jungle. And I'll, I'll remember the pirate area a lot more. So I don't even have this open, so we'll, we, we will have to find another way through. But for now, we can go back up this way. I think I want to start at the area I started at in the story, which would have been right up here. I think that'll make things the least confusing. Just start from there and work our way through. So that way I can build up some kind of memory of everything. And once again, I can zoom out and really figure out where I can go. I think this is a really big help. So I'm seeing the starting area. There's a, an electric thing there, but I can't quite reach it from here. I don't know how you would get to that one. Um, a couple of things, and really the answer is probably walk around with this, you know, just active X-raying everybody. And, and seeing what we can find. So far, not much, but there's definitely going to be stuff waiting around, I'm sure of it. Uh, we'll head up here, and aha, uh -huh, here's something we can water, so I will do that. No problem. And let's ride across with this. Whee! And there's quite a few things to do back here, it seems. First off, we need to undo this. Okay, that'll lower one of the doors. And then maybe I could just scoop by that, go up here and find something. I might have to, yeah, it doesn't do much. So there's not too much I can do on the side, that's fine. We'll go back across and then up here. Gotta be something cool up here, right? Seems like it to me. Once the camera turns, it's just another cap. I can talk to this one, meow. I can talk to most of them. Okay, well, that didn't get anything accomplished. Let's head down this way then. 
and then back up the little hoverboard thing. So that was really just for the valve. But since we haven't, I probably want to go into that building. Because so I think there might be a teleporter or something up here. There is a teleporter. I will take a quick look around to make sure there's not anything else. So once again, activate this. Just to be extra, extra sure, because I don't trust the game anymore, because like I said, I almost, I'm almost positive some of these are popping up when it's not giving me the eye for it. So now we have more than one way to go. We'll try this one first. It brings me right down here where there's a building to enter. This will be interesting. Where does it take me? All the way over here. And it's a little rabbit. So that is going to make it so that we have five more remaining of the rabbits. Hopefully we can find some more along the way. Because that's for the next world, right? The medieval world. So yeah, if we could find all those, it'd be fantastic. So we'll try the one on the other side now. Got it. And it looks like first off, wait, 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 hold on, I see it now. There was something right here. Another hoverboarding spot. Weird place for it to be too. Where will that lead? I think just straight down. Yep, just straight down here. So I can grab this hermit crab. Six more to go, and then make our way back up. I don't see anything else to interact with there. Maybe I should have done more of this. A little too late now, but I guess we'll see. For right now, we'll go across like this and zap our way to this side. And there's a bird, leaving us with three more to go. And then we can go on to this end, zap our way over again in just a moment. Let me check this side first. Nothing, okay. Back to this. And now we're up here. What did that accomplish? Another thing, another lever which I will interact with to lower that door in the square. Quite the chain of events to get all that. But I'm glad we did it. Now we can go all the way back and get into there in a moment. So let's try entering this area. This was the area with all the catnip and stuff. I don't know if there'll be anything to find around here, but I might just skip like this and take a quick look around. It really doesn't look like it. So, you know, fun area to visit, but not really anything we need to find here for now. Um, I can always come back later though, just to be extra sure if I'm missing anything. I want to go all the way back down and check out the door that we opened, because that is certainly something. So that was, yeah, right down here. We're going in, and there's a chest waiting for us. That's great, that's going to give us more um, popsicles. We're up to 10 of them. Is there anything cool around here? We'll let the uh, x-ray be the judge of that. Doesn't look like it. So let's head out of here and onto the next zone, wherever we can find some stuff. Okay, so we're back at the main section of everything here, and right down there is where we need to talk to once we find all of the animals, whatever animal they were looking for, I forget at the moment. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, we, we went down there, but we needed to find a valve to get us lower. So what about down this way? Because we could enter this building, and I don't know what this one leads to. Uh, oh yeah, over here. So there was you. Uh, whatever animal they're looking for, I don't have it yet. There is a chameleon down that way, I did see. Is there anything over here? Doesn't look like it. So we're good to leave this one. I think there was something there, but I found it. But what about the chameleon down there? How would I reach that? It looks like through probably this door. So it would also give me a chest. I don't know if we found the whip for this area yet, but there's another one to zap to there, which is right there in that corner. So let's try that. Uh, I'll get over this way. Plenty of things for us to zap to, right? Very exciting. Um, I can't really get across like that and do this. Aha, and there's a treasure chest just chilling out up here. Open this one up, giving us 10 more popsicles, 20 in total. All right, I'm very happy about that. Can I not go down here? I guess not. Okay, well, we'll, we'll do it our own way, going down this like this. That was sort of silly. Can't even go down that way either, but I don't really need to. Just trying to make sure everything, all of our bases are covered, you know? Before we head into the pyramid and realize I made a mistake somewhere. I don't think there's anything. This is the entrance to the little area where we unlocked this zapper, this x-ray thing. So I don't need that, but I do see, this is probably a ladybug under here, if I had to guess. And I guess correctly. Five more to go for those. And I could enter through there too, but I'm not worried about that. 
path. And over this way, so let's just zap our way across. That is on. And yeah, it's just right down this way. I don't think there's anything more in here besides this one treasure chest, but it's one definitely worth getting out of the way. So now we just have to look around the rest of the area to make sure we're not missing anything else. I, I don't think so. I think we're just about good to enter the pyramid. There might be something behind it. Yeah, it's like the one place I haven't really checked yet. Let's see, let's see this. I did think I do think we found something here at some point. Maybe there's more now. I don't know though. I'm not, I'm not seeing much, so I guess not. I think we're good to actually head into the pyramid itself, and hopefully somewhere around there we can find a way to lower. Oh, there's a cat on top of it too. Of course there is. That's so silly. Because I don't see any way to lower that just yet. I've been looking around. It's gotta be around somewhere, but nothing that I'm finding. So it must be inside the pyramid, I hope. Okay, so we're in the pyramid itself now. What can we find around here? First we'll pause and we'll take a good look around. Cause so far there's one little water spot there that'll probably have another animal, maybe another ladybug. I'm not seeing much else though. So we'll start with that and we'll see what it uncovers. But I think beyond that, we're good to move to the next room. There'll be even more stuff to find. So that'll be cool. Not too much going on around there. There is a way to go over to another room over that way. But I just need to walk over here. Activate the water spray. Watch out cats, I know you don't like this. And there it is. So, another ladybug, four more to go. Anything else of interest around here? Because this area, it was the ladybugs we needed to find. We're at 16 out of 20. Gotta keep going. See, so yeah, I'm not seeing anything more. I will go through here. Oh, there's a zapper, but as you can see with this one, we don't have the exit just yet. So there's a lot going on in this room for sure. Uh, Definitely, oh, what is going on with that? In the sand, there's the whip. So that we could finally get around with that. Okay, I'm a little confused, but this is definitely an area where we'll have to do a lot of exploring to really figure it out then. So. I, of course, could just cross the bridge there, but there is a gateway blocking a chest. There's gotta be more. There's, you know, a place I can use the whip once I get it. And I do see, it looks like there's something to unveil up there, but I can't get up to there. And I can't walk on the sand. Isn't that weird? There, there's definitely something. Ooh, I see this pot I can smash. Is there anything behind it? I don't think so. Not yet at the least. I could go into the big thing, but I don't think I want to worry about that just yet. What's over here? Once again, nothing. Okay, so I'm in the next section now because I, I searched through as well as I could, but I could not find anything else to do there. So there must be another way to access it all. For now though, we're back here. And there's definitely even more stuff in this room. So I'll eventually get to it. Nothing over there. And then there's U2, which now I can talk to you and stuff, but it's not really what I need. What is this? I don't know. There's the shop too, so I'll definitely get to that scene, but it's still nothing. It's crazy how there's so much, it's so little I can actually get to. I can go into the shop though and see if there's anything extra spending I can do with my 40 popsicles. I could buy this uh, dark red color, cool. And the sand yellow color. And when it comes to this, this requires 100 popsicles. So just gotta keep looking, because I think there's, yeah, there's five more chests to find. See, that's four normal chests. Aha, here we go. Four normal chests and one that'll give me 50. So that should be 100 in total. Ah, you know, if we, if we add the 10 that I already have. So yeah, that should pay for that. For right now, though, we got another zapper that I need to zap over. Got it. And then I slam on this thing. So you have a whole chain of events happening. And that'll get us a very hard earned ladybug. Three more of those to go. I will zap back over. But what would have been cool as like a reward for completing the game would have been some kind of like super ability that does all of them so that I don't have to swap between them all the time. I think that would have been a cool end of game reward. Either that or some kind of tracker that shows me where everything is. 
because, you know, that would also just be preferred. Or at least if I'm in that same room is what I'm looking for. Either way, we do get 10 more popsicles. But the question is, what do I do now? Because I, I don't really know. So what I think I have to do here is that there's a, clearly a lever that I can reveal there. I think that's going to lower the sand. And there's a treasure chest to the right. I think what I have to do is build this. And do we have enough extra pieces that I could potentially, I think there are, where I could go like this. Um, if I were to do that though, I'd probably want to do this and then start adding these. So yeah, something like this. And then I want to duplicate it and bring it over. We'll see if this actually works. If this actually brings something over. Because remember, it doesn't have to be sturdy enough for the robot to go over. I think that once it's there, it'll hold. So like, if we simulate this, it'll be fine for the robot. It can go over. And we could finish it and I could see, I just need to stretch them out now. So let's try that again. Enter. And let's keep at this. I'll put this here. And I'll do this. Because I don't think it'll break when we're on it, you know? So that's the farthest that one can go. So I'll get this here, this here, and then that's the last one I have of that, but that's okay, because I could do this, and that's perfect. Okay, simulate this again. Should just be able to go through no problem, just like before, because we're not really touching any of that. Finish it, and see if we can't use those. Yeah, okay, I think so. There we go, to unveil this. Pull that open and that drains the sand. Interesting though, we didn't have to do that for the main quest at all, you know? Uh, but it shows we might have to return to some builds at some point. We're gonna open up this chest, but this opens up a ton of things for us to find. So we got that. Heading back over here, I want to go down these stairs. And wait, I did see there was an eye up there. Oh, you know what it is? It's one of the guards. So don't have to worry about that. And then collect the whip. Cool. Now you can use it to swing up, up places. All right, it's so weird that they re-unlock it with each area. But I don't think there's anything more to do in this little pit. What we're gonna do is just go to the other side and whip over. And I think this might be the only place in the desert where we need to use the whip. I can't really think of any other spots, but you know, if we, if we find them, I'll, I'll do it. So that's great. And it seems like a little hermit crab here to find. On this side, yeah, there's a couple things to do. This is where I'm going to spray this. And then I'll go all the way back over so that we can go up there. It should be no problem, right? So, whoop. Go back across the bridge. I'm so glad we figured that out. That was a pretty cool little puzzle we sort of had to do. Back over here. I'm gonna zap this thing, brought over. Don't need to worry about that pit. Instead, we go this way. Or I'll switch to this because it's a little bit faster. And all the way at the bottom of it, or the end of it, I can finally lower this for another treasure chest. Oh my goodness. Lots of work to do that, for sure. But I'm glad it's just one last treasure chest we have to worry about. Either way. We'll zap our way through this one, and then Back to this. Most looks like a game of Simon Says. Got it, let's open this. Wait, hold on. There we go. So let's see where we're at right now. We still need to find two more chests, one of which won't be able to be doable right now, so there's one more chest after that. I do see a bunny way up here, hold on. Oh, you know what? In the same vein, okay, hold on that we did the other build, we have to change it. Maybe we need to build a staircase to get up there. That'll be one bunny, but then we're missing one other animal. And I think I know where it might be, but I just still don't know how to get to it. So let's figure this out first. So I'm still trying to figure this out, but it looks like I've got most of it here. I need to put one more plate there, and then I have just a little bit more of a staircase to build. But you can see we're chipping away at it. it seems pretty cool just to save this little bunny. I'm on it. All right then, so. I might wanna put this about there because I just wanna make sure we can get up that side pretty easily. So maybe I could even do this and hope that that's enough. If it's not, let's not risk it too much. We could just do this instead. There you go. Um, and then this side is where we're a little more concerned, but I could just remove that for now, I think. And then add a, one of these 
like this, and that should be enough to be able to get up there, I'm pretty sure. But I could also just try this. But that's where it gets so difficult with these. Um, Because I need to get up here. Oh, is that my last one? It was. Okay, so what if I did this a different way? What if I just did this, and then from there you can add one of these, and then from there you can add one of these. You can see how this is going to make it a lot more of a linear staircase, and hopefully that works a bit better. I think it will. Um, I think you can make that. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Um, here, let's just go again, add one of these, and then maybe I could just add this on top. Sort of, but I, I could make it even better by just doing this. Oh, cool, we don't have to worry about stability or anything like that. We should just be good with getting across. And we're almost there, we're almost there. Ready to put this like about there, and then maybe like this? Okay, finish. Let's try it out. I think this'll do, I think this is the ticket. Come on, run up here, and boom. Another rabbit, four more to go. So we are looking for one more animal and one more chest. Hopefully we can discover it somewhere. Oh, I feel so silly. It was right here the whole time. I feel like I should have known, but it's okay. Now we can lower this, and we already have the entrance to that figured out at some point. I don't remember, I think it's up there. Yeah, if not, then I don't remember exactly where it is, but let's try it out, and then we can see. So, gotta get over here, zap over. Okay, now we're on to something. I think we're about to get there. So, get through this, and at the least I can find a Chameleon, three more to go. Then I can whip up here and open up our second to last chest. Very cool. So that's a bunch of popsicles and stuff. So all we're missing is one chest. And just like last time to actually get that chest, I think I need to go and get all the uh, ladybugs. So to do that, we need to go to the next area. So let's return to Grandpa for now and make our way to the next zone, which of course is going to be the medieval world. And this one I feel like I'm a bit more familiar with too. So hopefully we can find things even quicker. But with this one we're missing, Seven chests, five shop items, and nine animals. Let's get to it. So I figure we'll start exploring here in the castle because the castle's a little bit of a dead end. If I start with this and I just walk around and make sure that everything gets covered, I'm sure that if there's anything to find, we'll find it. But this is the kind of thing I feel like I was decently thorough with before. You can see there's something up there to zap to you at some point. For now, I want to just look around every corner. Cause yeah, we can go into the little treasury room and that's sort of its own thing. Aha, you can see that there is a zapper here, but no end point just yet. So we'll need to figure that out. And I think the best way to do that is just to go into the treasury room because there was definitely no other way out of here that I saw. Oh, well, here we go. This thing is all covered in water, so we couldn't activate it. So we need to fix that now since we have that ability. Very cool, so yeah, we can use this. That's going to lower that chest up there, the one that actually has them. The other ones were empty, I remember. It was so deflating, but now we can actually get stuff from it. And what about this? Is there anything over here? Why is this, I don't know what's, why it's like that. I think that's actually the whip. Okay, see, so we need to find the whip somewhere and then return here. So that's a little unfortunate, but maybe the whip is still somewhere around you, you never know. Right now though, 10 more drumsticks for us. Let's hop on our hoverboard just to get through this a little bit faster. And where was it? I think over here, there's another entire room to explore. So first off, before I go too crazy, once again, I gotta, I gotta zap around. I, it's, it's what I have to do if I wanna make sure that we find everything. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that one we saw before is linked to this, because if not, I don't know what this one goes to. It's somewhere out there though, you can see it lights up on this side. So we need to find the, the end point to that one. So I really hope it's the one by the throne, because not too much more I can do around here for now. Let's take a look, the moment of truth. Yes it is, okay, perfect. So we know exactly where this one leads. It's gotta zap our way over. Oh, I see, because the rooms are a lot more connected than you might think. Uh, it always surprises me when it does that. And there is a treasure chest in here. Is there anything else left to find though? Um, in this specific area, it doesn't look like it. So that's good to know. 
I will zap back over. And we'll just try to find some other stuff then. So I'll have to come back once I find the whip to go into that treasury room and find the extra things there. Hopefully that's not too much of a project, but we'll see over time. So where does this lead again? Up here, oh, okay. I don't know why I didn't do that. There you go, easy hermit crap. I just saw it, I guess assumed that I've already done it, but of course I didn't. I wouldn't have had this ability at this point. So there we go. Now we have our hermit crab. We are going to go up here and just, there is another thing to zap to, but I can't quite get to it just yet. So, oh, and the architect is not up here anymore. I wonder where she went. Not quite sure. Either way, that means there's not too much more I can do inside the castle itself. We are going to leave here and start looking around this zone. There's gotta be something. Ooh, right over here, I already see a little hoverboard spot. Wee! look at us. Wow, this takes us all over. A grand tour. And that is going to have another zap zone. But if I wanna get any higher than that, I will need the whip again. It is really being difficult with that, so. We're just up here? Oh, okay, I found a hermit crab. It's a nice shortcut, but sort of weird. Usually you don't get those as shortcuts. Okay, well, good to know. Is there anything else? Cause yeah, I saw that here and just, it brings you all the way around. It looks like I found a way down to this side before and I found a treasure chest, but not too much else. I don't see anything else to interact with around or up here. So unless I could find a way up there, which there is a lever and stuff, but I don't think so. I think that it might just be aesthetics. So I think we're good to head out of here and try to find another way in. So was that other zapper down by the treasure chest we've supposedly already found right down there. So how would I get to that? I think, oh, way over there. So lots of things to do. Let's first check out the, the wizard's hut and be extra sure about the fact that there's nothing more in there we have to do. Because there could be, and if there is, I want to make sure. Because yeah, the, the wizards ha had a little room over here. I don't remember going in here. So let's see what we find. Just a treasure chest for now. Anything on this side? Nope, not looking like it. So we got that well and clear then. Hmm. We definitely interacted with this already. So I guess there actually isn't much in the wizard's hut to do. From what I can tell, I don't see any other critters or anything. I guess we could have just checked here to begin with. <laughs> All right then, yeah, let's, let's leave, leave the wizard hut, find out what else we're supposed to do. So first things first, down in this corner, I see something we can wash away. Probably a, te a zapper teleporter, it's a ladybug, Never mind. Grab that then. And we're down to two more to go, how exciting. Over here though, oh, I already see something. Yeah, by the Excalibur that we created. We are the living legend. I'll, I, I'll zap that in just a moment. What's on this side? Have I been over here? I feel like I haven't. Oh no, I do remember this. So I'll have to turn back because there's a couple more things I need to do. But first off, do this so that we get a, a warp somewhere. And then there's this thing here. This is also a dead end, so I might as well go here well, it's not really a dead end. I don't know, it's, it's so hard to say, but. We'll zap our way through this one. That brings me way up here. Oh, um, well that's great and all, but without a way to. Is there something up here? It looked like it was glowing green for a second. I don't know, yeah, there is, right here. And there. How would I get up there though? There's gotta be another way. So there's a trap door over there. Maybe that has something to do with it, but I just, I have no clue. That is so bizarre. That, you know, they've been glowing right there and then right here. But yeah, I'm not seeing any other way around. I think maybe having the whip could solve something. So for right now, it's a mystery I need to piece together later. Right now, yeah, let's, let's just zap our, back, our way back over. But if not anything else, once again, it's another shortcut. <laughs> no, wait, that's not a shortcut if I do this. Try that again, there we go. So let's get back over. And it was just over here that there was another one to get to. Let's zap with this. 
And where are we? Is it another shortcut? That is so silly. Okay, well, I mean, good to know. It's just great to get around, but I'm trying to get around the specific things and that's not being made any easier. So back down, here we go. For another time, I'm going to grab the board, boogie on over this way. Okay, I'm getting a little stuck. But you can see this one's like, you know, as clear as day, just chilling out right here. It is another one. And that probably means I haven't been in this cave at all. Pretty certain. Yeah, there's a treasure chest here. There's a lot going on in here. So let's try to figure this out too. Wow, okay. I can definitely water this. If I hit it at the right angle. There we go. So that's going to lead somewhere at some point. I don't know if we've been in this area whatsoever. This is bizarre. But maybe. What will this lead to? No, not the, why would I want the ladder? There we go. It's back up here. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I think I follow. So I guess I'll go back in. Cause there's not too much more I can do up here. I think we're good. Head to the other side. Where was it? Um, not on that one. Not on this one. Okay, so what about down this way? Oh, it's another zapper. Okay, cool. So I'll do this. Oh, and it's money. Awesome. We found one. Three more to go. We're getting somewhere. That's cool. I don't know what more I can access from around here because there's this big treasure chest. There's gotta be a way to lower it and I do see a whole section of stuff. Oh, oh, I could keep walking. Hold on. That's why it's good to really look around and finally we find the whip. That's so awesome that we were able to do that. So now I can break some of this stuff. Hold on, got it. And what about on this side? I see what is, I think, our second to last chameleon. Collected. Two more to go. Okay, so third to last. And look at this. So I can ride this all the way up. Whoa, hold on. Didn't work. Gotta try again. Whoa, get a little dizzy on this. And with this, I can lower that. Oh gosh, we're finally figuring it out. How do I get to that side, I wonder? But I think for now, yeah, we can get all the way around there. It's a bit of an exercise in uh, patience and exploration, but eventually it pays off quite well, you know, for just getting everything. Where does this one lead again? I'm a little lost, but. Oh yeah, I was just here. That's where the bunny was. Yeah, I remember. So back up here we go. And we have a couple places we can actually whip to in here too, so. I think it's all coming together quite nicely. Where was the place I could whip to? Right over there, and that would actually get me a hermit crab and another thing to lower, so I think that's worth to prioritize. I will jump up and across, grab you. Two more to go for the hermit crabs. Get some of that. Whip back across again, and with each world we get to, there's technically going to be less to find because I found more of it along the way because I have more abilities. Oh, that gets me here. I don't think I've been over here yet, right? Uh, hard to recount, to be honest with you. Oh no, there's a treasure chest, awesome. So I'll get this, 10 more drumsticks. Then across this way, just like that. And then back over there. It's crazy how there's this whole section we have yet to explore whatsoever, you know? Cool to find it now. So now I can zap my way through this one, and it finally brings me way over here where I can pull down this lever and get a big fancy treasure chest. That should have 50 more drumsticks for us, so that's really exciting. I just need to get down there, whichever way I'm supposed to do that, which I think is just going down here and going down the staircase. So let's give that a try. Ta-da, 50 more drumsticks. 
So let's take a look at how we're doing now that we've gotten that done. We have two more chests to find and three more animals. With the whip, I should be able to find a lot more of that stuff. So that's great. So what's down this way, I wonder? Have I been down here? I don't think I have. Okay, so we're on the back end of where there was the, oh, hold on. Just make, no, 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 extra sure. Yeah, there's not anything there. But we're on the back end of where the, the entrance was for the dragon. Does the dragon have anything new to say? Wizard? Well, of course, before you were admitted, he, he and I were the only beings allowed near the pool. Suppose I could have thought to mention that earlier, my mistake. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's fine. We can zap this thing and actually get closer to the dragon than we ever have before. And there's a treasure chest waiting for us. Don't worry, we're not gonna take your coins. I just want the drumsticks. We have all the drumsticks money can buy anyway, so what do we need the money for? So let's get back over here. And I haven't checked this room, but this is where we unlock the water ability. So there really shouldn't be anything to find here. Treasure chest that we've already opened. A lot of other stuff that was already found and figured out. So yeah, nothing more in here. I think we're good to go back then and just figure out whatever we need to with the whip. Okay, so we're back here now. I'm going to just use the whip to get up here. And the least it's a chameleon. But maybe I can, you know, use the x-ray here. There's one more to go for that. How exciting. And nothing more to do over here. So Glad I found it. And I think we used the hoverboard here already, but I might just do this real quick just to be extra sure. Yeah, now I remember. So besides those two spots we can unveil at the very top and I don't know how to get up there, I don't think there's really too much more to do in this area. But we're still looking for two more animals. So I think the best thing we could do is just focus on what we can do. Like we know for a fact, I know how to reach it. That is going to be in the treasury room, there was another thing to whip towards. I'm almost positive. So, I'll get to that first, and then we'll check out everything else after. So right over here. And there's a treasure chest. Okay, very cool. So, glad to get this. It doesn't answer very much what I'm supposed to do for the other sides, but we'll go and find out soon enough. So there we go, 10 more drumsticks. I'm jumping up. And let's see. So that's all the chests I need to find. It's just two more animals. Oh, right here, this is so easy to miss. I got it. Then we switch over to the hoverboard and I get the hover. And where will this bring me? Right up here, perfect. Okay, so yeah, I understand now. Then we can activate this. And this will hopefully you know, get me somewhere. Yeah, I already see there's a bird over there. So maybe it gets me across there. That would be nice. The big question though after that is, there's still another animal I'm missing somewhere. So I gotta find that wherever it could be. But right now, what's the best way to get up there? I guess like this, right? Or no, am I getting this mixed? I'm getting this mixed up. I gotta get over there. I will in just a moment once I find my way. So we're finally up here. I can go through this room. And yeah, I see that one blue bird. Is there anything else left to do up here? I don't think so, which unfortunately, mean, for, unfortunately means I'm still on the hunt for one more animal somewhere, and it could be really anywhere. I have no clue. Oh, it's right down there. How did I miss that guy? I have no clue. I think that I might have saw that and just assumed that I had gotten it, but I don't know. Either way, we'll go and ride across here right now if I can. There you go. And let's go grab that one hermit crab. Awesome, so that's all I was missing. Very cool. So as you can see, now we just need the one chest from finding all of the rabbits, which we'll do in another part of the episode, of course. But for right now, let's return to grandpa again so that we can move to the next area, which should be the city. That'll be pretty cool. So three areas down so far. Here comes the fourth right over here, the city. So we're 50% through the city technically already. We need nine more chests, 10 more shop items. I couldn't even find the shop when I went there through the first time and six more animals. The animals are gonna be the big thing. And of course, whatever extra chests we can find along the way. So let's hope it goes well. I do wanna try to get wherever we started this mission and go from there. It might take some effort, but uh, we'll figure it out. So travel south from here. Cause I don't quite remember, I think it was here. Yeah, yeah, this is where the guys would zap us. So I think there's a way to zap them back now, right? There you go, you can just get rid of them that way. That's so cool. So yeah, we'll definitely run around here, cause whatever problems we can for these guys first. So that allows us to sort of just get around a little bit more easily. I don't know if they'll respawn or anything like that, but I guess we'll see. 
So we'll get rid of you. Because yeah, this is where our mission started in the city. So I wanted to start there and work our way out. I feel like that was the best way to do it. There's a little bit of a brick there, but I don't think that's gonna be anything. See, anything that we found at this point in the level that had any of these three, we would have already done. So that's always nice. And if we go into here, you can see there might be a couple more things. But before we just start exploring around like crazy, I guess we should take a look around. You can see that there's something up there, which I probably just have to zap my way up there and get the rabbit. So let's try that out. If I go back over, gotta go all the way up there. I remember building this. I, I don't want to, but I do remember it. Uh, and for this one, we're trying to collect birds. We only need two more birds, so hopefully we can find those along the way. I'm not quite sure. Oh, it's right there, actually. I just saw it, They're one of them at the least, is right there. So we'll have to figure that out, but for the time being, we want to zap our way up here. That did not work the way I thought it would. That's okay, we get a shop, or not a shop, but a chest out of it, which we can use to spend things at the shop. So that's nice, 10 donuts for us. we we'll 90 of those in total. So while that wasn't what I thought it would lead to, I think we'll be okay. Where does this go? It goes back down here, okay. Actually, so I could have saved myself some time before. That's fine, because what I think I might have to do is stomp through this stuff and then zap my way over. And I think this will bring me up there. Yes, it will. So there we go, there is a wonderful little rabbit for us to collect, only two more rabbits to find as well. So that's pretty cool. But when it comes back to that bird, I need to get back up there again, but I think this time we need to change that build so that we can actually reach the bird. So you can see it's 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 right up there. To reach that, I'm gonna have to change this build up and hopefully be able to figure it out. Okay, so I think I put something together that should allow me up there. This thing is a whole mess of a contraption at this point, but I go up around here and then over there and boom, bird collected. One more to go. But is there anything more to do around here? This area is looking thoroughly cleared, as far as I can tell. So I think we're good to move somewhere else. I think to the left is probably our best bet. Um, I don't quite remember where we would have gone in the story at this point, but I think it would be down in the sewer somewhere. I just don't quite remember how to get there. So I think we'll just worry about going to the left for now. So we just gotta hop back down this way. And then over there. Unless we can go into the big pit here, but I don't think we can. Nope, okay. Oh, the sewer right here, that's right, that's right. So let's try this, go into the sewer and take a look around. Um, I'm sure there's gotta be something. There is like a little zapper right here. I don't know if we would have accessed, accessed that already, so. Oh, there is a chest down this way and a little hermit crab waiting for us as well. So there's a couple things for sure, including a door to go through there. So we'll work on it. First things first, let's go to this side and see where this leads us. That leads me right here, where first off, there is another little uh, boarding thing to do, so. Okay, a couple of options. I'm pretty sure that yeah, going down this way is probably going to open up this opening. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <laughs> hopefully we can make that work. I might have to sort of run around to really see what leads to where, because it's been a while, I don't quite remember everything. Oh, we cannot go through here. Everything is underwater on the other side. Huh. How much of this area did I really explore originally? I'm not quite sure. Apparently I can use the whip over that way. What's up this ladder? Where are we? Oh, we're here, okay. Sort of piecing it together. Let's zap our way through. And now we're here. Uh, but first things first then, while I'm here, let's just hoverboard across. Then I can lower that. So I was right about that one, that's good at the least. When it comes to everything else though, I'm not quite sure what to do, because we can't go into the water just yet. I don't remember how we change it. Is there a way to change that? If this thing is full of water, I can't unfill it, can I? I'm not quite sure, but there is a, a chest waiting down there for us. There's nothing up here that I probably just didn't already find. I don't know how to get to that one chest then. Oh, wait a minute. There's definitely some things here I have not broken into, so this might answer our question. Okay, there's a couple of things here. First off, another chest. So open that one up, and we get inside is a, uh, another chunk of donuts. Very cool. And then here. This might answer some things. Let's hoverboard over. Oh wow, going over the water in some interesting ways. So while that doesn't, you know, drain the water or anything, I'm not pressing anything, there it goes. 
at least I get this chest, and I think that's everything in this room. So we're doing pretty well. We're at um, seven out of 13 treasures. There is that one I need to grab. So we'll get back up there, but then I think this room is completed. Okay, we're back here. Open up this last chest. That will be another 10 donuts, which I still don't know where the shop is, but we'll, we'll find it eventually. Um, so we can head back up here. I'm at 120 donuts, it's quite a lot. And what can we do around here? Actually, it doesn't seem like there's too much. Yeah, I already got that chest. I'm not seeing any animals to save. So maybe there's not too much I need to do here. There's the one door there that I don't see an easy way to get over to. I think I might have already been over there too, so I'm not quite sure. Because I think that would be back here, right? And I can't, I can't squeeze through like that, but I can go like this. Have I been through this door over here? Gotta wait for that to turn around. There's a couple doors, they seem a little familiar. Let's try this one first. That leads here and there's nothing here, okay. But let's try this one. Do I have anything to find? I'm a little doubtful. Yeah, okay, so I, I found everything around here so I don't need to really be in this room too much. Oh, wait a minute, I just passed it. Hold on, there it was. I just saw the happy little bird just chilling on the little bridge railing. I can't believe I missed you. There we go, you found them all. Return to the ortho or ornithologist or whatever it is. So there we go, we found, finally found an entire group of animals, all the birds, and how fitting it was actually the one for this area. So the ornithologist, you found 20 bluebirds? Thank you, take this box uh, chest of donuts as a reward. Share them with your friends or don't. They're yours, you can do what you want. So there we go, we get ourselves another huge bundle of donuts. That's going to be another 50 of them. 50 donuts ready and waiting for us. So that begs the question, where in the world is the shop? But I think I'm going to go back into the sewer and explore a little bit more there because there's definitely a couple other places to go because I went through that door before. I think we found everything. Did I use this to zap myself anywhere? It brings me down here. Have I interacted with this? It looks like I have because I can't interact with it anymore. So I just need to run around and see what else we can discover. So there's quite a lot going on in this room next to the, uh, the room we were just in, and there's the shop. I don't know if I explore this place too much then. Let's first things first, go right down here and check out the shop, because we've not been in this one whatsoever. So hopefully there's some cool costumes. It looks like it, so we'll talk to you. Hi, are you interested in my wares? Of course, I always am. Um, so we got the firefighter pants for 12 donuts. Keep your legs from looking too hot. The construction uniform for 20, as blue collar as it gets. Uh. The firefighter vest for 22, the, la the least seen article of clothing in those calendars everyone likes so much. I don't know what that means, but uh, fire helmets for 18 donuts, uh, a helmet befitting a knight of the modern age, and then finally, a hard hat. Great barrier between you and a headache. <laughs> I agree about that one. Wear a helmet, it's safe, but we got 80 donuts left over so we could buy sandbox color dark brown, brown. Um, medium stone gray. What is this? Earth green and a uh, cool yellow. So we still need a whopping 100 donuts, but we know where to get some more of it, so that's great. Um, Before we go too much farther, I might as well, you know, do a change of outfit here. Let's try maybe this construction outfit we just unlocked so we can get some of that. And that's the firefighter pants. Yeah, I guess we didn't really get too many other kind of pants, so we'll, we'll keep with those. It looks fine. Uh. And what else can we do around here? First off, I do see something to unveil there, but I can't quite reach it from here. So we need to work our way around. And look at this, I found one up here too. So I definitely want to interact with this and see where it zaps me to because the other end is available somewhere. Right down here. Okay, so, oh, that's so weird. Um, Let's go ahead and get this rabbit. One more rabbit to go, how exciting. Back over here, I've already interacted with that, but down this way, there's quite a few things to do, it seems. First, this door. Where does it lead? On the other side where we find a happy little ladybug. One more to go with those two. I can zip up here with the, the, the whip and then activate the, the hoverboard. I can't get to this yet. Okay, so maybe I did something out of order here because as you can see, I need to lower this first. Back over then. And, oh, here we go, here we go. There's another. Can you believe I missed that before? We are going to do this. And I guess just use to wa the water to get across. It seems like I might be missing some things, but I have some ideas. Yeah, okay, so back here, and then through the door again, 
and now I'm back up here. I haven't gone this way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a couple things I could do here. First for things first, I think I need to hoverboard up this crazy little loop-the-loop. -loop. Whoa, whoa, it's like a crazy bendy straw. And we're going to pull this lever, which I'm pretty sure is going to lower the chest. That'll be great. I don't know if this is the final chest. I think there might be two more after this. Guess we'll find out soon enough. For right now, though, I can do that. Get over here and zap my way. I think just directly down. Yep, to get another chest. It'll be 10 more. So let's see for ourselves. We have three more chests missing. So after this one, we'll have two more, like I was saying. Well, I guess now that we've gotten that. It, it, I, I miscounted by one, but you know what I mean. We're almost there. So I guess for the time being, I zap this way. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I'm getting a little mixed up, but that's okay. We need to go through this one. Yeah, that's it. And then from here, just hoverboard over. But then after that, I think we're finished with, with this room. I don't see any more of what we can do. So I guess we'll find out soon enough. But for right now, boom, we got 50 more donuts. So let's take a look. Is there anything more I can see that we can do? That's where we came in from, right up here. So we haven't gone up that ladder so far in today's video. Beyond that, I've done everything else. So we're gonna try it, going up that ladder, and hopefully that's something. Okay, so what's up here then? I Probably something, you know, oh, you know what, this whole area. Is there really too much more for me here? It doesn't seem like it. I've already been up there. I've been through all of that, so I don't think there's anything more in this room specifically, but what we could do is take a peek over here. Traveling east, where are we ending up? Oh, okay, so I'm sort of getting it, but we are missing one more animal. I know where the animal is, it's in the sewer, but what I'm sort of confused about is how to get to it. Let's just double check this room to make sure there's no chests or anything we're missing from this one either. I don't think so. These rooms don't often have things that we've missed. And yeah, I, I think the same thing for this one. I am not seeing anything extra, so we're good to go. Uh, let me just try to find that one hermit crab first, and then we'll tackle the rest of the chests. Am I getting this mixed up? Is it as simple as it seems that I had to just go through this door back here? Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, that's so silly. So yeah, I can get through this. I just never did this before. So that'll be the last hermit crab I, I need. We found them all. Okay, so when we go to the pirate area later, we'll be fine, we'll, we'll have them all. And then if we go over here, I can open up this chest. And that is even more donuts. What are we missing? We're missing one more chest somewhere. I don't know where that is, so I'll have to really look around for it. Okay, so I think I know where it is. We're back at the ending area for the city. What we wanna do is go through this door. And then on the other side, I think I saw it for a moment. There it is. Okay, so I don't know, I couldn't remember if we had found anything in this area, but there we go. That is our last chat chest. All we have to do now is go and redeem all of our donuts with that one um, color. Then we're done with this area 100% and we can move on to the next one. Okay, so we're heading back down to the shop right here. And I would like to order one uh, city bricks for 100 donuts. Buy sandbox city bricks for 100 donuts. Very cool, you've got a lot of new bricks for your sandbox. Very cool, so we, we sort of, uh, we bought all my wares, indeed. So as you can see, we are now 100% done the city, and we'll be doing that for the rest of the areas, um, basically at this point. I think right now we just need to focus on the Caribbean. Whatever it still needs to be done there, but it is so cool to get an area 100% completed. Uh, so over this way then, we have the Caribbean. For this one, we still need seven more chests, seven shop items, and three animals. The animals are the easiest part then, I would hope. And then we're good to go, where we'll be finished. So, let's take a look around. I might start, this is, I think, the area I'm the most familiar with. We ran around the most. You can see there's a chameleon down there. I'll definitely grab in a moment, but I wanted to start over here because this is the starting area. I feel like I just have the most going on here. And I already see a chest over that way. So I just sort of want to back up and take a good look at everything. So first things first. Um, that water, the, this little spot over here that I'm supposed to water, I think we've already done that. Uh, I do see the whip down here. But how do I get to it? It looks like I need to reveal something. It popped up for just a moment. 
but uh, I might have to reveal something somewhere. Oh, maybe right over there. Okay, I see that, so we'll definitely do that one. And then there's a chest over here, so we come in from a different side. I think same thing with this one. Oh no, there's a, a valve I need to get to. Okay, I think I'm sort of starting to figure some of this out then. And is there too much more? Once I get the whip, that opens up a lot. So first things first, we will try to get up that that ladder right over there. And I'll, and I'll keep zapping with this just in case, because apparently there's a lot I can get with it around here. But what I really want is to get over here, pull up the hoverboard, get across, and then right here, there was something. Yep, a teleporter. And hopefully with this, I can get to the other side. There you go, much better. I'll go ahead and bash through these things, but there's even more we can reveal in just a moment. I'm fairly certain. So let's grab this whip. Now you can swing with the places higher up, and that's the last whip we needed for the whole game. We have all the other ones, but right over here, there's another valve to pull, so. Or I guess to spin. That'll open up that door, but I don't know where the entrance is. So that's what we have to figure out next. And if I take a look around, it might be, I think it's this right here was closed a moment ago. So we just gotta get through that. But what about up this ladder? There's a poor bunny trapped away. I'll try to help them out, but for right now we can go down this way. We have not been able to do this before. Nothing else here. Let's go ahead and do that then. Ooh, and there's a lot of things going on up here. First off, a chest. I say a lot of things, but surely just the chest. Uh, we'll check to see with the x-ray though, if there really is anything more. But another chest, which means another 10 clams. Nothing else, okay, we're good to go then. And yeah, I guess back up here, I know there's not gonna be anything in that room, but I am a little curious to what's on this side. Uh, quite a few things. Oh yeah, okay, I I'm sort of getting caught up to speed a little bit on what's going on here, but I probably wanna leave a lot of this for later, at least as much of it as I can, because this stuff's already quite interconnected. I can leave that area for whenever we get to it. For now, we're getting back here. I'm going to go back down the ladder, and this basically came from where we started, which is right over here. This glitch is always so silly. There we go. So I think so far we're doing a great job at finding things. Over time, you know, we're just picking up a skill for it, which is always fun. Still don't know how to get to that chest. That one's a bit of a mystery, but we'll keep taking another look at it. But for now, I'm entering through here. We are going to get this one. That'll be 10 more for us. I guess I think 110 in total. See, so yeah, this one chest that's up here. What do I have to do to actually reach it? It looks like there's some other side to it. And then after that, I think we're good to go. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else happening up and around here, so yeah, we'll just try to figure out how to get that chest so that I think the one valve will unlock the bunny that was there. So let's take a look for ourselves. It's right over here. So if we go through this door, right down there. So how am I getting to that is the big question. There's gotta be some kind of door and probably inside of that cave. All right then, so we can try that and see what ends up getting us. So starting with this, go through. Actually, I have all the, the hermit crabs. You found 20 hermit crabs, thank you so much. Here's your reward. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to return to my silent contemplation. There we go, we get another chest. And this one, of course, gives us the huge reward of 50 more clams. How are we doing with chests, by the way? We're at nine out of 13, so we still need four more and we're on the way to getting a couple of them. First, let's try this cave, though. Because my hope is that the exit will be down there. Guess we're about to see, though. If I take a look, just like this, it looks like there is potentially an exit right down there. I don't know what else is happening in and around here. It looks like everything else we've explored properly, so here's hoping that that's what I'm looking for. To get there is pretty simple. I just slide down this ladder. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get up here because I didn't have the whip. So let's whip our way up, grab this little ladybug, and that will be our last ladybug. Very cool. And I don't see anything else. I'm just sort of x-raying just in case. But where will this lead us? Will it lead me 
where I think it will. It won't. It'll bring me here. That's a bit confusing, because that just doesn't really line up with how we entered before. But it's fine. Maybe there's another way through. What is going on with this little secret corner? No, it's nothing. I don't know how to get over there then. I don't see any other exits. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other exit. So it must be some other way that we get to that part of the cave. So what about this door then? Aha, okay, so what I did is I went through the, the one that goes through the mouth and then that popped me out around here and I went through the door. Okay, so that's what we needed. So now I can do this really quickly. And we'll zap our way through that in just a moment. There's a couple of things we can do in this area actually. First off, grab what I think is the last chameleon. It is, very cool. So now I go back here, zap our way like this, and that just brings, okay, I've already been there. Just wanted to make sure I knew what that was. Travel south. Okay, this is perfect. I do this, I release the little bunny, and now I can try to get over to that little bunny to save it, which I think the best way to do that would be to just go all the way back around. So I need to get back on the hoverboard, because I've, I've done this, right? Yep. Where will this lead? Is anywhere I haven't been? It's this room, which we have found all but one animal. So if I see an animal around here, definitely make note of it, but I'm not seeing anything. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything for us in this room anymore. So good to know, good to factor that out. Uh, we're still looking for four more chests though. So maybe I should Look around a bit more, I'm not sure. For now, we'll just leave. Okay, so I know I was just looking for the last animal. I forgot about the rabbit, there we go. So that should be every animal saved. Now we're just looking for four more chests throughout this entire thing. And I don't know exactly where to start, so I'll just keep looking around until hopefully we find them all. There's still this one. I forgot about, oh yeah, I was so preoccupied with doing that and grabbing the rabbit, I forgot to actually get the chest. So that's at least one of them we can go figure out right now. So for that, actually really simple, I just need to zap my way back over with this. And then go through here and walk over to that chest. And that'll bring it down to three more chests left to find. Hopefully I can discover them without too much of an issue, but I guess we'll see in just a moment. That is, yep, three more remaining. So I think our next one is through this little cave. We go through here and it pops us up over this way. And I saw on the map, that I missed out on this, so makes me nervous. Whatever other little cre crevices have I maybe neglected to get actually get to? But there we go. We got that one. Two more chests left to find, and then we're done. We found all of them. So I just need to keep looking. So we're in the spooky pirate cave, and I already see one that I couldn't have gotten to before. So let's try to figure that out now. The reason I couldn't have gone to it. I don't know if I can get to it from this angle. I'm a little stuck at the moment anyways, but I wouldn't have been able to get to it because of the fact that I didn't have the whip. I'm also just trying to look around for any of the little green eyes. Oh, there's the other one. Okay, so I need to find a way to lower that though. I haven't seen any valves. Oh, it's by that one. Okay then, so what I have to do here is actually go back just like this. And then I need to lower myself here. So. How would I do that? Oh, I need this, that's right. And then just get it up here so that I can write it down again. But this is gonna be it. Oh, this is so exciting. So we go over to this, I think. This seems about right. Go across this way. Yeah, then we're gonna whip up, grab that one, no. How do I get over there? <laughs> There's one, so one thing I need to zap somewhere. Maybe it's that one. This is quite the maze. Oh, so that got us exactly where we need to be. Now that we're over here, we are going to whip our way up here, grab this chest. That'll be our second to last one with 10 more clams. Then we activate this to lower that. Then we whip our way back down, and instead of proceeding to the right, which is what we would have done normally, we wanna go to the left here, back where we came from. And with this one, we now hop back up the ladder, right? Oh no, no, maybe not up the ladder. I think I need to go through the hoverboard section, but then I should just be able to access the chest. It'll be amazing. 
ready and here I am. So I have to grab this and that is our final chest. Now we just have to go back to the shop, which what might be a little bit faster than having to walk all the way over there is to just leave and then head back in. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Uh, that was really cool that we've gotten every chest. So once again, run back over here, hop back in and now I can get to the shop a lot easier. Never mind, it brings me back here. I was not expecting that. Okay, so I'm finally here. We can buy everything in the shop. Totally just clear Boo out of their inventory. And yeah, we didn't buy much here. So let's go ahead and buy this to cast away pants for 12, worn and threadbare for extra breathability in those hot tropical days. Then we also have the pirate bandana, the must have accessory for, of the season, compliments any pirate themed wardrobe. And then that's all there. So let's go ahead and buy some colors. We have the dark orange, the uh, warm gold, the black, and then the Earth blue, very cool. So let's go ahead and get this to the Sandbox Caribbean Bricks for 100 clams. We're now out of clams and you are now out of inventory. So we're going to head out of here and basically do the same thing for the remainder worlds. That'll be great. So basically, yeah, all I need to do, go to the jungle, find the person who wanted all the jungle critters, get that chest from them and then buy what we need to buy from it. Okay, so we're finally here. We got all of your chameleons, Mr. Passionate Biologist. Oh, you found 20 chameleons, thank you. Now I can study them in peace. Here, take my chest. The one that will appear next to me. <laughs> all right then, so we'll open this up and get 50 bananas. So what I wanna do with all those, is go over here and just ride up this thing. It should bring me right to the shop, more or less, but once that's done, we can just literally jump out of this area and onto the next one. There we go. And it was right up here, right? We're almost there, just gotta ride around. It takes so long to get to certain places. I wish they they just set up teleports or something, but there we go. Into the shop. And we just have some more colors to buy. So we have reddish brown, um, medium lavender, bright orange, and the jungle bricks. Very cool. So lots of new bricks in our sandbox. We're good to head out of this one and into the next world, which was the desert. Okay, so to get to the person who was looking for whatever they were looking for, we just need to go down this way. The ladybugs, I think. You found 20 ladybugs? We did it, the world is saved. Wait, these aren't micro drones. They're just cute beetles. Wow, I was so wrong the whole time. Thank you for showing me the truth and all, for all of these awesome ladybug friends. All right, well, I'm glad I could help. There's even more of our popsicles. So now I can go to the uh, the store with this one and redeem them all, which should just be not too far off. I think right over here. So we'll go down and then I have to go back up like that. And I'll switch over to the hoverboard and speed things up a little bit. Yeah, this way. And we have to just go down a staircase or two. I see it down there. One less shot to deal with. We'll have two more after this, right? I, I'm pretty sure. So it's pretty cool. After this one. And all we need to buy from you is this, you know, set of desert bricks. So we'll buy those. Now you're clear. And we're off to um the, not the Caribbean, the medieval world. So we don't have to go too far for this one, just on the back end of this. And I miscalculated, this is actually the last one we have to do. So after this will be 100% complete. So let's talk to you, the uh, wizard imposter. You found 20 rabbits, wonderful. Now the show can go on. Here's your reward chest. Very cool. So we'll open this up, this has, what do you know, a bunch more drumsticks. Now we gotta go all the way back to the castle where we can get the rest of our stuff spent. Okay, we're finally at the shop, here we go. And look at this, we got all the, the clothes bought from this one, so we just need to buy the colors. We have a white, um, whatever that was, I clicked it too fast, uh, bright blue, dark stone gray, and then finally, the medieval bricks for 100 br drumsticks. There we go. So that should be 100% completion. Yeah, I just got the achievement on, on Steam. Very cool. So with that, we can return to Grandpa, and I don't know if anything else happens, if, if something fancy happens for completing the entire game, but you'd think they would say something, right? Uh, hi, Grandpa. Thank you so, so much for helping me. This park has been my dream for as long as I can remember. Couldn't have done it without you. So I guess not. Hmm, we'll talk to you really quickly. 
this place really is tremendous. Grandpa has outdone himself. Yeah, and then, then they say about how he's changed, legally changed his name to Grandpa. So unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there is anything for 100% completion, except for the pleasure, of course, of getting all the items and being able to enjoy them, which is great, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, I feel like they should have at least given us like a little congratulations, can we leave? No, we can't. So I guess at this point we could just enjoy Grandpa's Park. We could build new things to our heart's content if we truly wanted to, but that's about everything we can find currently in the game. If they ever had any kind of DLC adventure pack or something like that, I would love to check it out. But this was a splendid game. I had a ton of fun playing through it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching along the way. Stay tuned, because we'll be playing, of course, plenty of other LEGO games. We're currently still chipping our way through LEGO Star Wars, um, the Skywalker Saga, and if any new LEGO adventures come out along the way, we'll be checking those out too. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of LEGO Brick Tales. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.